18 Strange Things Only Found on the Alien Island Socotra Island. Have you ever heard of Socotra Island, or do you know about the existence of a remote, incredibly desolate island in the Indian Ocean? Socotra Island is dubbed the Alien Island because it is completely isolated from everything, with a unique and unparalleled ecosystem featuring fascinating plant species like the dragon's blood tree and bird or reptile species that cannot be found anywhere else in the world. Join me on a journey to Socotra Island to discover 18 strange facts unique to this extraordinary island. Number 18. Isolated Island the Indian Ocean. Have you heard or know anything about Socotra Island? Comment below your knowledge about this island. Socotra is an island in the Indian Ocean off the coast of Yemen about 250 kilometers. Socotra Island is also referred to as a part of the lost world. Because people from many countries have never heard of it and are unaware of the wonders this island possesses. Socotra is a small archipelago consisting of four small islands in the Indian Ocean, with the largest island being Socotra, accounting for 95% of the archipelago, and the other three small islands named ABD Al Kuri, Samha, and Dasa, respectively. Socotra Island has a unique geographical location, with part of the island belonging to the Republic of Yemen. The island seems completely isolated from other lands, having undergone a process of complex geological formation, with the island now being a combination of ancient granite mountains, limestone cliffs and unique red basalt plateaus. Today, Socotra Island is the most famous domestic tourist destination in Yemen. Socotra is a popular destination for adventurous travelers and nature lovers. There are several things to see and do on the island, including long hikes, camping, swimming, snorkeling, Visitors can also explore the villages on the island and learn about the local culture. Do you know about this island? If not, then look at all the unique facts about Socotra below, as you will surely want to visit this place. Number 17. Incredibly unique plant system. Socotra today is likened to the most bizarre and diverse collection of living creatures on the planet. This archipelago has been geologically isolated for a long time, and harsh desert-like climate conditions have created an incredibly impressive plant system. According to research by the Middle East Plant Genetic Resources Center, there are up to 30, 78, 25 or 37 percent of plant species here are endemic. Among them, there are 27 extremely rare species listed in the Red Book for Protection. Socotra Island also surprises people with over 800 plant and animal species that cannot be found anywhere else on this planet. Rare plant species can be seen on this land in the Arabian Sea. In some places on the island, there are trees that look like umbrellas. There are also bottle trees. There are no deciduous trees, but flowers bloom on every branch. This place is also compared to the living environment of aliens. Of the 825 plant species, 307 are endemic to Socotra Island. About 37% of the plants here do not grow anywhere else. Some of these species have existed for 2 million years. Researchers believe that high humidity and harsh temperatures make these plant species strange. The World Environment Organization has listed three Socotra species as critically endangered. They also selected 27 other species as critically endangered in 2004. Rare plant species here include endemic aloe, giant watermelon Dorstenia gigas, rare pomegranate Punica protopunica, Socotran cucumber tree Dendrosicios socotranus. One strange plant here is the desert rose with a swollen stem, with the ability to retain high water content, helping the plant to firmly root with vigorous vitality on the barren land. Number 16. Population of Socotra Island. Socotra Island is the largest island in the archipelago, home to about 60,000 residents. These resilient communities have adapted to harsh environmental conditions and have a unique culture and way of life. The island has been inhabited for at least 2,000 years. The residents speak Socotri and are predominantly Sunni Muslims. If you visit here, you will also find that the people on the island are extremely friendly. Despite being isolated from the rest of the world, they are very enthusiastic towards tourists. Number 15. Socotra men wear skirts. An interesting point is that the people of Socotra do not consider themselves Yemenis. They claim to be completely different. However, like in Yemen, Socotra men wear skirts. Basically, there are two types Amayawiz and Fawat. Mawiz, rectangular pieces of fabric often embroidered or patterned, are wrapped around the waist like a sarong and secured on the body by tucking the top part in. Some people also wear belts. Fawat, similar to Miwas, but the men wearing it have to tuck it in and do not wrap it around the waist. Women wear black burqas. 
Outside the city, you rarely see a woman wearing colorful skirts. Number 14. Socotra is a hideout for pirates for many centuries. According to Marco Polo from the 13th century and Ibn Battuta, the famous Arab traveler in the 14th century, Socotra was a hideout for pirates involved in trading activities on the island for many centuries. That's because the island's geographically isolated location makes it easy for pirates to hide. However, pirates no longer live on the island today. The Socotrans themselves are friendly and law-abiding people. However, their proximity to Somalia still poses problems for them. The issue is that Somali pirates often attack Yemeni and Indian vessels carrying diesel, gasoline, bottled gas, building materials, consumer goods, and food to Socotra. Number 13. Socotra Island takes you back to the 19th century. If you're considering visiting Socotra Island, keep in mind that this island is extremely remote. In the capital of the island, Hedabu, there are only a few hotels similar to European two-star standards. The water here is usually very cold and it's rare to find hotels with functioning shower heads. The only places on the island where you'll find electricity are the two towns Hadibo and Kolanzia, with a total population of 12,000 people. In other places, some villages have solar panels that can generate electricity. Accommodation, shops, banks, and the only services are in Hadibo. If you need something as simple as an electrical outlet to charge anything, you'll need to go back to Hadibo or Kalansia. For communication, information, internet, and phone signals are almost non-existent on Socotra. The only signal towers are in the two towns, but even there, the Wi-Fi signal is very weak. One of the most unique factors when traveling to Socotra Island is that only about 100 people visit each week. This is because there are currently only two flights to and from the island per week, Air Arabia flights from Abu Dhabi, with about 100 people on board. Number 12. Rare dragon's blood trees exist only on Socotra Island. There's a beautiful and incredibly rare tree on Socotra Island called the dragon's blood tree. This tree does not grow anywhere else other than on this island. According to botanist research, this tree species can live for over 650 years. From a distance, the trees look like large umbrellas. The trees are highly drought resistant. They grow at altitudes ranging from 300 to 1500 meters above sea level. After that, the growth of this tree species is slow. It only grows about three feet in 10 years. The weather on Socorro becomes humid during the rainy season. Dragon's blood trees then absorb water droplets from the air through their leaves. Dragon's blood trees bear bright red fruits. The red fruits are used as food for livestock. The most unique aspect of this tree species is its sap, which is red like blood, sour and slightly pungent. That's why they're called dragon's blood trees. According to legend, the first dragon's blood tree was born from the blood of a wounded dragon in a battle with an elephant. Since then, the sap of this plant species has been red like blood and named dragon's blood. Since ancient Roman times, the sap of the dragon's blood tree has been praised and widely used in daily life. According to the Global Trees Campaign, the people of Socotra use the fruit of the dragon's blood tree as food for cattle and goats. However, they only use a small amount. The tree sap also has folk medicinal uses such as wound healing, health enhancement, becoming a dye, making cosmetics, or creating the varnish layer of famous Stradivarius violins. The lifespan of the tree can be up to hundreds of years. Number 11. Socotra's traditional architecture is very distinctive. Socotra's unique traditional architecture is influenced by Yemen. The architecture has developed to suit the island's hot and harsh climate. Houses in Socotra are built from cool materials and have good ventilation inside using building materials such as wood and limestone. If you visit Socotra, you will be impressed by the beehive-shaped houses in traditional architecture. This is the most recognizable feature in Socotra's house architecture. The houses, often built from limestone and mud, also have a very special and unusual appearance. Number 10. Socotra Archipelago is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Socotra Archipelago, located in the Arabian Sea off the coast of Yemen, is one of the most unique and biologically diverse places on Earth. It was recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2008 due to its special natural beauty and rich ecological significance. Number 9. Mysteries surrounding the origin of Socotra. 
The origin of the Socotra archipelago has long been a topic of debate among scientists. Its unique flora and fauna, along with its geographical isolation, have led to hypotheses that there may have been a land bridge connecting Socotra to the African continent millions of years ago. For many centuries, Gujarati sailors from India called the maritime route near Socotra Socotro, meaning the Lion of Socotra continuously roaring, referring to the roaring seas. Since ancient times, Socotra has been world famous for its aromatic resins and medicinal properties, including unique plant resins, aloes, ambergris, the world's finest pearls, as well as the central role it has played in the Arab maritime transport industry. Even since 2400 BC, Socotra has supplied not only frankincense, muresh, and aloe, but also dragon's blood resin, according to legend, rubbed on fighters before battles to increase their wound healing speed. It is also the land of aloes and miraculous aloe trees that can heal wounds for Greek and Roman soldiers during wartime. Socotra is also a place of many legends about wizards, genies, and monsters. The locals here claim that their wizards are the most powerful in the world. The origin of the word Socotra remains a mystery with countless stories. Many believe it originated from the Sanskrit term Divaipa Sukhadhara, literally translating to Island of Bliss. Another possible origin of this name is from the Arabic word Souk, meaning market, and Kotra meaning drop referring to small droplets of resin. Number 8. Many rare and precious animal species. Research indicates that nearly 90% of reptile species originate from here. There are over 35 animal species on the island. 29 reptile species are unique among these 35 animal species. The Socotra blistering bush viper is the venomous animal species of Socotra. The color and behavior of this spider species differ from other spider species. There are no amphibians in this area. Visit Socotra to see the Garden of Eden. Over 95% of land snail species are found nowhere else in the world. Many spider species, legless lizards and crab species contribute to the diverse animal kingdom. Besides humans, bats are the only mammal species here. There are also species of birds found only on this island and cannot survive elsewhere. Larger sized cats than normal are also present here, weighing up to 12 kilograms. They are believed to be descendants of the wild cats brought here by the first settlers. The extremely diverse animal kingdom also includes some endemic bird species such as the Socotra starling, sunbird and sparrow. Indigenous wildcat species, bats with peculiar body shapes, are also present. Are you interested in these special animal species on Socotra Island? Leave a comment with your thoughts. Number 7. Many stunning white sandy beaches. In addition to the diverse flora and fauna, Socotra Island is famous for its beaches and surrounding mountains. This majestic Socotra Island has some stunning white sandy beaches along the coast, such as the white sandy beach stretching from the Arabian Sea to the Gardafui Channel. This land amidst the sea is a favorite destination for many beach lovers. It has a warm temperature and beaches serving tourists. Visit Socotra to enjoy these beautiful sandy beaches. Many fishing communities live near coastal towns. There are also many fishing boats visible along the coast. Many people also travel by boat along the coast. Various species of dolphins, whales, and different types of fish are found on these beaches, and you can enjoy watching them. This is truly a paradise for nature lovers, swimming enthusiasts, and divers, isn't it? What do you think about this land? Leave a comment with your thoughts. Number 6. Remnants of various battles. German armed forces occupied much of southern Arabia during World War II, but then the British Army reoccupied the area in the middle of the Cold War. After a while, the Soviet Army took over the entire Socotra region. Since then, the Middle Eastern government has used this place as a military base for many years. Traces of many different military equipment are still clearly visible on this mysterious island in the Arabian Sea. Military forces from different countries used war tanks, artillery and military equipment during their stay, and now many abandoned vehicle carcasses are available on this mysterious island. So you can visit Socotra to see the remnants of the battle and explore the history of the time. Number 5. Mount Haji, the surreal natural landscape of Socotra Island. The island has vast deserts and attractive beaches for tourists. Besides, among the attractions of this place is the Hajar mountain range. Mount Hajar is located north of the town of Habidu. It lies on the southern coast of this Yemen island in the Arabian Sea. The highest point of this mountain range is the Mashanig Peak at an altitude of about 1,500 meters above sea level. Other prominent peaks in the area include Durhimitin, Hazrat Mukudriyayan, and Hiram Hajiyai. 
This mountain covers almost half of the island's area. People live at the foot of this mountain range. The height of this mountain creates unique weather patterns, providing essential moisture for the separate plant life of Socotra to thrive. If you come from Europe, where you are familiar with mountains covered with trees or snow, this will be an extremely new journey as you will encounter clouds and fog surrounding, accumulating on the mountains. Therefore, these mountains are the habitat of over 100 indigenous Socotran species, with over 50 species found only in this mountainous area. The fog here creates a strange mystical atmosphere around the mountains. Many tourists choose these mountains for long walks and explore hundreds of small caves scattered across the mountains filled with stalactites. What do you think about the scenery of Mount Hajia? Leave a comment with your thoughts. Number 4. There are many archaeological artifacts. There are different archaeological sites in this mysterious place. Many scientists have excavated here and found many artifacts from ancient times. Visit Socotra to admire these ancient artifacts. But scientific searches are still being conducted at various locations on the island to find archaeological sites. These relics are all of historical significance, such as an ancient fortress abandoned on the sea, evidence of ancient history. These forts and domes make this place even more mysterious. Number 3. The Story of the Phoenix Do you know the story of the phoenix, or rather the legendary bird said to have risen from the ashes? This is one of the most widely spread folk tales related to Socotra Island, because every 500 years, this island is said to have a phoenix flying in to build a nest and leave its eggs here. This phoenix comes here only to be engulfed by flames and be reborn once again. The mystical stories about Socotra Island are based on Greek and Egyptian mythology. Even the locals believe in living flying snakes, and it is believed that the mountains of the island hide a phoenix nest, and the Rossi bird is a giant bird described by Sinbad the sailor. The mystical reputation of this island is further reinforced by the symbol of rebirth and eternal life, attracting pilgrims and seekers of spiritual enlightenment here. What do you think about this mystical story of Socotra? Share your thoughts below. Number 2. There are many goats on the island. Goats have been brought to the island by ancient sailors for a long time. Shortly after, the number of goats began to grow out of control and spread throughout the island. Goats, many goats are present on this Socotra island. They are everywhere and often climb on rocks or near beaches. Be careful when camping on Socotra. A Socotra goat can access your food or paper products in a second. In Hadibo, goats eat garbage and steal food on tables in local restaurants. In addition, goats are also the main food for tourists on the island. Number 1. Socotra is famous for its many caves. Socotra has many caves, some stretching for tens of kilometers. The Socotra Gulf on the way to the Dixam Plateau is the longest natural cave in the Middle East. This was proven by Peter de Geest, a famous Belgian cave scientist, who discovered the Hoke Cave on the northeastern coast of Socotra in 2001. In addition, the island also has the El Shouf Cave, the largest cave system on the island. You can visit Socotra to experience exploring the interesting cave system on this mysterious island. So we have explored 18 strange things that only exist on the alien island Socotra Island. What do you think about the facts I shared above, or have you visited this beautiful and interesting island yet? Remember to comment to share your thoughts with me. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to get the latest videos from us. See you in the next videos.